Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going plain, simple, and direct for the message of the video today, guys. You need to sell because the calendar is not lying and neither are the leaks. We're getting closer and closer to that favorite summer promo footies and also the end of Copa America and the Euros. And there's some specific cards I'm talking about selling as we get close to that. Also, I mentioned footies. Is that actually the next promo? Well, we have a lot of conflicting news, but potentially an answer to talk about today as to what promo is coming this Friday in FC24. If you're excited for that and the other content to expect today on Tuesday, drop a thumbs up for the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's start by looking at yesterday's content as we always do on Monday. It was an interesting day. We had kind of a mid player SBC, but also it fits into an Evo and then a very bright spot with the player picks. But let's start with the mid player SBC. We'll call it Connor Gallagher, an English live card for their game tomorrow. He has a chance to get upgrades still if England can win the semifinal and the final. Now, the interesting thing with this card is number one, he's cheap. And number two, he was actually dropped with three playstyle pluses. If you were on for the content drop yesterday, this card only had three playstyle pluses and EA added Tiki Taka plus 30 minutes after content. At that same time, they also upgraded Joe Gomez's stats because, of course, he was missing that upgrade. He now looks really good. Uh, but this card was given the fourth playstyle plus as he deserved. And you look at the stats on the card. 85 composure, 86 acceleration, some glaring stats there. Even the agility and balance is a little bit low, but across the board, 90 plus face stat card. It's not bad. Four star, five star, high, high work rates. It could be a good box to box midfielder if you're English, or if you just want a pretty cheap SBC to complete and also potentially put into an Evo. That's actually where this card gets really interesting because he's only 123,000 coins to do. And if you put him into the Euro glory Evo, if you still have that one available, he actually comes out being a really, really solid card with 93 shooting, 93 pace, 95 passing, 91 dribble, and 93 defense and physical for just a couple of extra games. That's the Connor Gallagher that you could have. And of course, with the England game tomorrow, he could go to a five-star, five-star boost if they win. And if they end up winning the Euros and it comes home, football comes home, he would end up being a 96 rated card. So that's kind of like the optimal path for this Gallagher card. And then of course, the other English cards would get upgraded too. But if you're doing this uh, SBC, you're probably doing the Evo as well, just because those two go hand in hand. So it's nice that it's cheap. It's kind of the same thing as Lissandro Martin. Martinez, right? It's cheap, but the card's just a little bit lackluster. I think Gallagher, honestly, is a little better than Lissandro Martinez. I wish we had a Copa Glory Evo, just like we have that 94 rated Evo, four star skill move, whatever, for their Euro cards. I wish we had one for the Copa America cards too, because this Lissandro Martinez going into that, plus the live upgrades maybe from the Argentina game tonight. That would be nice. That's all I'm saying. EA dropped that Evo today. We would love it. But that's the Connor Gallagher SBC that was dropped yesterday. Do it if you want. It's a decent one. Let's look at the upgrade SBCs because this was the best SBC of the day yesterday. The 82 plus player pick is back. That is all EA had to do. And the craftability of the menus instantly jumps up a level. Now, of course, the pack weight is still... I'm going to say pretty mid, like some of the people in yesterday's stream, as we were talking about it, were comparing the pack weight of what is out right now to the make your mark promo, which honestly, the more that I think about it, you know, I've packed a few more PTGs, uh, you know, yesterday doing a couple of player picks. They were all fodder um, than I did maybe during the make your mark promo. So I think the weight's a little bit better, especially with the re-release cards, but it's tough out here. It is actually pretty tough to pack these promo cards, but I think this 82 plus player pick actually gives you a chance to do that, to do the other upgrade SBCs that you might be crafting through right now, stocking your club with team of the weeks, do the player pick, and just giving yourself a shot at packing something. I think this 82 plus player pick unlocks the grind a lot more to get higher rated players for exchanges, to keep feeding in the non-rares and the rares for these player picks. This game is just kicking a lot more uh, when this 82 plus pick is here. So craft away, good luck packing those cards. I actually did do about 30 of these yesterday and I hit four promo cards. Again, and most of them fodder. The best one was Jesus Nava. So it's worth a try. We also had the 84 plus player pick that was dropped yesterday as well. This one's a little more pricey because it takes two 85s and then an 84 or no, an 83 rated squad. That's what it is, which is a little bit annoying. But with the 82 plus pick that is out, you know, it's doable. It's there. I did all of them yesterday since the 82 plus pick was given out decent fodder and I had some, a lot of packs honestly still left over. So I did those. I think I got like a palestry from the 84 plus picks, but I've packed that guy like five times now. He's getting annoying. Now we did have an evolution that was dropped yesterday as well. And it was a 
France Evo, Allez Les Blues, and this one honestly might be the best nation-specific Evo that we have had yet between the USA, uh, between Germany, between the Netherlands, but this Evo still isn't that awesome. It's good, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not that awesome. Awesome. I do have this Thunderstruck Varan, who is one of the best cards that come out of this evolution just because it's a Varan card. Of course, he still has 45 balance, which is terrible. But you know, Varan in game is just him. And I use this card, this Thunderstruck Varan, for so many games. I'm contemplating just putting him into this just because it's an upgraded, boosted version of Varan. You can get your card to four playstyle pluses because this gives out the aerial technical and long ball pass as well as i think what was it a skill move upgrade no a weak foot upgrade that it gives so it's free it's not that terrible there are a lot of cards actually that are going up a lot on the market like that varan viera gold griezmann which is crazy to me that people want to put a gold griezmann into this evo but he does get technical long ball and finesse plus with 96 shooting sure 85 pace is probably not it at this stage of the game but if you want a usable griezmann card uh he would go to 404 as well at a lot of people are putting gold griezmann in there this saliba if you did the saliba team of the year uh, moments SBC that was very expensive at the time and if you kept it unevolved until now this card actually looks really really insane so GG's if you did that one and held on to that card because that Evo might be the best out of all of them there's a couple other good ones in there as well like base Vieira you can make a card that is not quite as good but comparable to his um greats of the game icon card this one's three four this one's four five so there are some differences it's just a solid evo that is free if you have a card that fits now hopefully some of you guys have either one of those players we just looked at or maybe you have something else in the club that uh, you've already evolved that is allowing you to get an upgraded version that actually looks pretty good so that was the evo that was dropped yesterday plenty of uh, cracked cards in there Going to objectives, there was no XP released yesterday, guys. I know we talked about XP a lot in yesterday's video. It's not looking good. We only have two more days left for EA to hopefully do something here. Just a nice XP bonus objective uh, would be nice. I know a lot of you guys in the comments yesterday were saying, yo, I'm level 25, I'm level 27, and I don't even need to get Pushkas, but can I please get Bernardo Silva? Or can I please get to this Depay? I really hope EA do something but I'm not expecting anything, guys. We'll watch today to see if there is any more XP, of course. Uh, actually, hold on a second. There was... Ooh, I forgot to mention this. There was something that EA did yesterday that was honestly, honestly mean, guys. Honestly mean. Go to the FC Pro tab, and you can see the FC Pro World Championship. There are two... Is it three? There's three different segments in here of 400 XP. But guys, the first 400 XP you can't actually get until July 11th at a time that is after Division Rivals rewards, so the new season will be out by this time. This is kind of mean. Everybody's looking for uh, XP right now, and EA drop an objective for XP that isn't obtainable until the next season actually starts. So, man, EA, that was a little harsh, I think, for those people that are really wanting XP right now. That hits hard because you can't actually get that XP to count for this season. Now, let's talk about the big news. Let's talk market, why you need to sell some cards and leaks and footies all of that combined into one like we mentioned yesterday's guys prices have been rising on these ptg cards especially the ones that have been re-released from like team two depaul i bought depaul for 1.4 mil on friday night sold him for 1.5 thought it was cool making some good profit he's like 1.7 right now bukayo saka is three mil sure they're still live in the competition their prices are going up for that i totally understand that but Usually when cards get re-released into packs, right, their cards drop and their prices drop. And that is not happening as much this time, which is why I think, especially as we head into some of these games, you want to think about selling, especially because as well, we are nearing the end of the competition. Ooh, look at this. UEFA Euro International Stars. That is a new card design. Hello. Okay. That'll have, that's the first time I've seen that. Is there a Copa America one as well? Uh, Copa America International Stars. Copa America International Stars. Okay. That actually proves a little bit of our point that we were going to talk about here in just a second. But first, these PTG cards. Bukayo Saka is almost 3 million coins. He's actually down just a little bit right now, ahead of the games that are happening today and tomorrow. I think, guys, we got to sell into the hype for a couple of reasons. Again, we just mentioned it, right? These cards are right now in packs 
Saka's in packs and his price is going up. Sure, if England win tomorrow, he goes to a five-star, five-star card. But we're getting towards the end of the Euros where it's do or die scenario. If a team loses, the cards are dropping like crazy. If a team wins, how much higher can the cards actually go up? Yeah, Saka will go to a 5-5. And if England win and football comes home, I've said that twice in this video now. I promise I'm not, I'm not rooting for England. I'm not rooting against England. I've just said it twice in this video. I have to say that. But, because uh, we don't often say that in videos. But anyways, if Saka goes to a 99 and he gets the 5-star, five 5-star five in England win, then what's he going to be in price? He might go up a little bit, but he's probably going to drop after that as well. So I just think, guys, that we're getting to the point of the tournament where you want to sell in the hype because the upgrade hype is dwindling. It's not like they can get two, three, four more upgrades from this point, which they could, right, earlier on, and there was a lot of hype for that. I think we're getting towards the end of the hype for the upgrades, which is why you need to sell some of these cards or at least think about doing it pretty soon. And also, leaks are playing a part of this as well. As we take a look at some of these other player prices, like Havertz yesterday, he's out of the tournament, right? His card price, I'm not as much worried about. Sure, it will drop as we get towards the more summer content months and as we start talking about footies and maybe the promos coming out this Friday as well. Uh, but I'm more so worried about some of these cards that are still in the tournament that are live, like Saliba. Yeah, sure, that card's cracked, but that's expensive. The the Walker, like this card, 825k, he's gone up a good amount. Again, in packs too, which even though he's live, it still, still worries me. There's a lot more Kyle Walkers on the market now to make his price come down after a win or a loss for England here in the next day or two. Same thing with France for Saliba, as we just mentioned. Uh, but guys, the leaks play a part of this too because of the time of the year that we are in. Quick aside, talking about Copa cards. This Julian Alvarez yesterday went up He's up 100,000 coins over that. If he's almost 700K, he was 575. Please sell this in the hype, okay? He was re-released in packs, and I bought him for 450,000 coins on Friday night. Yeah, he was down a lot. There was some panic, and now there's not as much. Sell it in the hype. Take the money here soon because I just, it just feels like we're in the mid July time frame and we're starting to look at footies and other promos that are going to be coming out, but specifically footies that is going to make the market drop. So that's the main message is get those cards out. Even if you bought them when they were in packs and they were very low and you've made a ton of coins on Julian Alvarez because you bought them right here, you held through this, he came back down and now you're here. I think you sell. Take the money, no frills. Your investment's out, you make the money, and you're good to go. Now, let's talk about footies, and let's talk about the car designs that were leaked yesterday in relation to these games and the cards that we think we need to sell. Footies leaks, right? We looked at this design. This is the premium footies design. This is the newest leak from yesterday, the footies evolution car design, which, again, still looks very basic, if we're being completely honest, but... It is another 40s car design. This tweet yesterday came out first before anything else, and it made people think, are we actually going to be getting footies next? And the answer to that is no, especially by the car design that we just saw here in the game, because this is the first time that I saw that. That to me means there's some of those are coming here very soon. I don't know why that's in the game on a random Tuesday. That's morning. That's really, really random. But I do not think footies is next, guys, even though these car designs are being added to the code. But just because we're getting close to footies, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a maybe just a small peek into what could happen to the market as we get close to footies. This is last year at the same time for Tots Jude Bellingham, right? He was 1.7 million coins literally on this exact date last year in FIFA 23. The day footies started, he was all the way down at 1 million coins, 1.1 mil. And then of course, as footies goes on, he does rebound back a little bit. He did then, but he went all the way back down to 200K by like the end of footies into the preseason. So I know it's a long time away yet, but you can see from 1.7 mil from like right now where we are to the start of footies, which was two weeks from now, or not, not even two weeks almost, like 10 days, 12 days, he went down 700,000 coins. Those are the types of price rises, uh, price drops that we could see on a lot of these cards. And since these are live, the drops are going to be even bigger, especially on the ones who end up losing. So that's again why we're saying I think it's time to sell on some of those. But like we said, and like we see that card design in the game, it does not look like it's footies time yet because we are in that time of the calendar where we're getting very, very close to footies. But the latest leaks are hinting that we are getting the UEFA International Stars and Team of the tournament. It sounds like, especially with both of those or the, uh, the Euro International Stars car design and the Copa design in the game and the team on the tournament cards in new pack code, sounds like that is going to be our promo this Friday and it might be the last promo of the Euros. Maybe it's two weeks long. 
who knows? But in the next one to two weeks, we should be getting into the footies time frame. Now, this is the pack code that we're mentioning, and I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. Packs including team of the tournament have been added to the code. These packs are making a lot of people think, especially as the leaker here posted the, the design ASY said, are these new weekend league rewards. And I think that is a very good guess. 94 times three, path to glory, make your mark, or team of the tournament players pack. And then a 95 three of the same exact players. Three player packs. What else do we see three player packs with guaranteed special cards? We see them in weekend league rewards like the team of the seasons that we have had. Ultimate Tots have been in rewards now for the greater part of a month for Ultimate Tots and for the Euros promos. This makes us think that with the new season that is coming this Thursday, these would be the new and updated and refreshed weekend league rewards, at least for the next couple of weeks, which if they're dropping team of the tournament cards in the next set of weekend league rewards, do the math. That means we're probably getting those cards this weekend because they're not going to drop cards into rewards that wouldn't already be in the game. So I don't see a team of the tournament design here into the in the game added yet, but this international stars one is here. And that I think means that this International Stars promo and Team of the Tournament will somehow combine to be this weekend. I can't imagine that they're going to drag it out between, you know, Team of the Tournament this weekend and then International Stars next week. Maybe they will. I hope that they kind of come together because I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting ready to be done with the Euros and the Copa America content. It's been great. It's been solid. The icons, the PTGs. It's been good, but it's ev it's been everything now for the greater part of a month, and I'm kind of ready for footies, like especially with those the news of the evolution design and the car design coming out, and like just the thought of summertime unlimited 85 times tens, that would be amazing, and I think I'm getting more ready for that than I really realized before seeing these leagues. But I don't think we're getting footies just yet. I think we're getting that team of the tournament here pretty soon. So all of that to say, guys. I think selling in the hype is the smartest play for these cards because like we looked at with that Jude Bellingham card and like we just know how this market works and how we know footies works, there's going to be insane content during that time and that is going to make a lot of these prices drop. Some of these um, you know, Euro cards are probably going to be even re-released in packs during footies. Back in packs again, which probably wouldn't happen until later on, but it's very, very possible that that, that would happen happen. So watch out for official leaks today of team of the tournament cards. I will say this post has been floating around Twitter. I've been tagged under it a couple times, guys. This post is completely from what I believe a concept Valverde. Sure. Could he actually get a team of the tournament? And this could end up being true. Yes, but I do not believe this is a leak account. This guy posts a lot of graphics. It says graphics designer in his, in his bio. And I've seen his tweets before, but I do not believe that this is an actual leak. I think this is a concept. So just take that with a pinch of salt. So selling the hype for always guys. Let's talk about today's content today on Tuesday, because once again, and actually finally, after a couple days off, we have football again. We've got Spain versus France. This one's going to be big. And we've got Argentina versus Canada. Two massive games today. If I had to guess, I kind of picked Spain as my favorites to win the Euros. And they've looked a lot better than France in terms of how they've been playing. But France just has the talent and they just seem to get things done, right? Kind of the same thing as England. They don't play the most exciting, but they find a way to get wins. I feel like France is going to, it's going to edge it out today. That's just my thought. And then I think Argentina is going to take care of Canada as well. That would be nice for a lot of you guys, I'm sure, having the cards here for the upgrades. Now, once again, I do want to mention for today's games, it is the five star, five star or plus one overall upgrade. So that means if France win today, Griezmann would go to a 98 because he's already five star, five star. But every other France card would not get a plus one overall. They would just get five, five. And then tomorrow, um, for the Netherlands, De Jong is the only other card who's five star, five star as a PTG. I believe if I've done my math correctly. So he would get plus one, but everybody else would go five, five. So just to make that uh, connection there, same thing for the Argentinian cards. I don't know if there's any five, five cards there uh, or for Brazil or for Uruguay. I'd have to go do a double check, but that's kind of how the upgrades are going to work for the PTG cards. Now, the other leaks of content that could be coming today, we of course have our SBC list here, which I don't know why EA did this in the way that they did. Why did they release Gallagher yesterday when England don't play till Wednesday? but maybe they release Taram today and 
France play today? I wish, I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Taram should have been yesterday and Gallagher should have been today to actually give us time to think about doing the SBC before the game actually happens. Because again, if they drop a Taram and England and uh, France lose two hours later, then it's like, well, what the heck? It's kind of like the Jota situation on Friday. It'd be only useful SBC if you were a fan of Taram and his club team or just collecting all the France cards. You know what I'm saying? So for the upgrade potential here, it's not looking that great, but we'll have to see. I'm guessing Taram is today. That's just my guess. Hopefully he's cracked. I think with the leg horse that we already have, I can't imagine him being that great but if he's cheap he's a budget beast and i don't think he would fit into the evo for the euro glory i feel like he should be higher than 94 rated but maybe he is only 94 rated and he would fit that evo that's something that we have to watch out for today as well now also it's tuesday what do we talk about on tuesdays gamble tuesdays last week we had the 93 plus player pick which was actually banging i have nothing else to say uh except ea refresh this player pick include ptg team one and two and the make your mark cards that's fine um i would take this player pick again because last week it was actually awesome and there was some really good pack out of this. It was an 87 and an 88, so it was a little bit pricey. And that sort of fodder could move on the market today if this does come back. But it would be worth doing, in my opinion, just like uh, this was last week. If it's the same thing that drops today, there's nothing new in the code. But it, if it's a player pick, it doesn't have to be added to the code. So fingers crossed that they re-release an SBC like that today on this game. I'm not expecting too much else, guys, to be fair. I'm thinking player SBC. I'm thinking this SBC refreshes. And then other than that, it's the normal 86 double. It's going to refresh. Um, I wish the 84 times 10 was refreshing, but it's not. The TOTS upgrade is going to refresh today as well for any of you guys that are really, really wanting a tot chance at a TOTS player that is there. And then, uh, yeah, the normal refreshes, the normal SBCs, the daily gold and silver and all that good stuff is going to refresh too. Uh, yeah, I'm not expecting a whole lot today. We'll watch for um, the uh, objectives for XP and maybe if they drop us a Copa uh, evolution, kind of like the Euro one. But it's going to be a day to get the Rivals games in, finish uh, your Foot Champs game since it's extended still, maybe get that last bit of XP from that and do the 82 plus pick a crap and grind and get the upgrades stacked up that you actually want to grind towards. I think that's the video for me today, guys. Just again, selling the hype for a lot of these cards. I've got basically all of my coins liquid besides the full Krugs, which I'll probably sell here pretty soon anyway, because he's had a really, really nice rise in price. Uh, full Krug right now is how much? He's like 53K. So 53 to 55K. I'm happy with that rise from 40,000 coins where we bought him. That's great. I flipped the Havertz for like 30k profit nothing crazy there and i've got again most of my coins liquid just because i feel like what is coming next is going to make the market move a bit downwards this might be the start of that coming this weekend so i want to get out ahead of time so i will see you guys in another video tomorrow from a different location and just to be a little bit ahead giving you guys a heads up there the videos for the next two three days might be a little bit later than normal maybe an hour or two delayed just because i will be in a different time zone so that's just kind of a heads up there but i will see you guys in another video tomorrow it's been nathan foot accountant see you guys there peace out